everybody welcome back there's one thing that I like to do is to make my own herbal supplements and it's really easy to do and so I just thought I would show you how to make some since I need to make some more for myself now I have this little um, cap them quick gadget I got off Amazon.com and that's where I found mine there might be other places I don't know and this is what it looks like and so the top piece here actually I took off both pieces but that's okay this is the top piece that you'll use to pack down the material that you put in your capsules this is the bottom. You can see the little dips in here that helps hold the capsules. And this also helps hold the capsules. So we're just going to put it together. You just line up the holes with the pegs. And slide it down. Now, the this, these little things here let me show you these swivel and move around and you're gonna want to put these on the inside or so the thickest part is towards the inside and put this back on Now you don't actually have to take this off all the way but I just wanted to show you so we have it all lined up whoops sorry for the noise and then you get your capsules and I also got my capsules off of amazon.com they have quite a, a big selection and we're just going to take a few I'm just going to set a few over here for the moment and you just I don't know if you can see this or not. Here's a capsule. It has a top and a bottom. We're just going to pull them apart. The top part you want to put in like a little dish so that you keep them separate. And then you just pop them in. One at a time. And I have this lid that I'm just going to put the top in and keep it separate for the moment and I'll show you again here's the little capsule and we just pull it apart the short part is the lid and the longer part you just put in one of the little holes and once I get this filled up I'll be right back okay so I've got all the capsules in the tray ready to go. You can't see them because they're just a hair below the surface of the the container. Now what I'm making is Amla Berry Powder Supplements. Amla is actually a dehydrated Indian gooseberry and they're different from American gooseberries. They're bigger and you can't grow Indian gooseberries here in the United States. And I actually bought a bag at an Indian grocery store to try to eat one and they are the worst things ever. They're so good for you but I could not stomach it. It is the most bitter, awful, awful thing so I found the next best thing which actually really works so what you do is you sprinkle out your substance that you want to make into a supplement and the kit comes with this little scraping card so you just go ahead and start moving the powder over the holes and pushing it in Side the capsules and you just go back and forth and side to side 
and some of them will fill up more than others uh, quicker. That's okay. Just keep going back and forth. And it is a little messy. I keep everything, um, my vitamin or my supplement making things in their own tote. And so I just put it in the lid. Uh, that's what this is sitting on right now is the lid to the tote. And I can just clean it out if I need to. So here we see that it looks to me like they are all about as full as they're going to get. And this is the top. These have little pegs that fit right down in there to tamp down the powder into the capsules to make sure that they are completely full. And once I did that, you can see, I hope you can see, it left extra space in the capsules. So we're just going to dump a little bit more on there. And we're going to just slide the powder around again. It doesn't take long to make 50 supplements. Now when I when spring comes or summer comes and my herb garden is going I will show you you know some other things that I make. This happens to be one that I have um, you know quite a bit of because for my health issues, this actually works for me, and it was backed up by a doctor's visit and blood tests and blood pressure and all that kind of good stuff. So this is one thing that actually works. Now I just tamped that down again, and that looks to be about all I'm going to get in in there. So I'm just going to scrape up the omelet powder onto the card and put it back in my bag just like so. the bag back in its toe there. Now all we're going to do, let me get this out of the way, Oops, is we're going to hold the top part and turn this around to the slightly smaller side or less thick side. Whoops. There we go. And you can see they all come they all came up to the surface a little bit there we go and to cap them the easiest way to cap them is to just lower this down all the way it's gonna hold them in place just like that and they come popping up so here are my little capsule tops and you just take one and it's kind of hard to hold in these rubber gloves but you just put it on and you, whoops like I said it's hard to hold on to with these rubber gloves and you just push it down on top and you can hear it click whoops I shouldn't have been saying click at the moment it clicked but it clicks just a little bit so that you know you have it on there. So I'm going to be quiet. So it's on top and I'm just going to push down. Did you hear it? I hope you heard it. It clicks just a little bit. You can also feel it when it's locked on there uh, with your finger. So here we go. 
There we go. So I've already capped three. I'm going to pause this and cap the rest. I'll be right back. Okay, I've gotten them all capped and I have them sitting here in the lid. The size capsules that I used, I think I forgot to tell you, were the zero zero size. Um, you can get whatever size that you wish. And in future videos, I think I said that I would show you more um, on what kinds of herbs you can grow to make your own type of uh, vitamin supplement. And I will do that. But in the meantime, there's other things that you can use that, you know, like things that you can't grow yourself. Uh, cinnamon, for one. You can buy cinnamon capsules. And they're so expensive. You can make your own capsules for a fraction of the cost. These, these empty capsules are really super cheap. Super cheap. It is cost effective to make them yourself. The money that you will save is amazing. The other reason I make my own, and especially the Amla, is because, like I said before, for my medical issues, this has been proven by doctor's tests that it works for me. I don't know if it's going to work for everybody, but it works for me. And I'm going to put a link at the bottom of this video. Um, if you're curious about AMLA, uh, it's a short video by a doctor that will give you a little background on it. So in an emergency situation, and if I run out of my medication and can't get you know the 27 miles to where I have to go to get far my uh, medication at the pharmacy I have something I know I can get by on and be just fine in fact these actually with my medication make everything just a world it's a world of difference better so I will attach that link at the bottom of this video and in future videos I'll get more into uh, herbal supplements but I just wanted to show you how easy it is to make your own very cheap and you know what's in it when you make it yourself when you grow it and make it yourself or purchase the product and put it in the capsules you know you're getting the right ingredients you're using the correct part of the plant and it's not filler. A lot of times herbal supplements don't work for people because it's all filler or the company is using like the root instead of where the active ingredients is located in the flower or the leaf. Yet they can say it is what it is because they used it but it's the wrong part of the plant. Anyway, something I'm a little passionate about and I just wanted to share how easy it was and how inexpensive it is so I hope you try it thank you for watching take care and I'll see you soon